Hello and welcome to this unboxing video for the Everlasting Wet Palette from Redgrass. This particular one is the Studio XL set, as you can see on the screen, and that differs from the standard orange one by being blue and bigger. Um, the palette itself is uh, supposed to be roughly A4 size, so we'll see how that uh, looks when I pop it open. Uh, I'm also going to be testing out to see if there's any of the faults that people have reported, particularly things like the magnets not sticking and the uh, box not being water or airtight. Um, now I haven't opened it yet as you can see so <laughs> it'll be a surprise to me as much as it is to you. So it's uh, just sealed normally. Um, nothing too fancy. And these are all the bits that come with it. Now this was a one of the Kickstarter orders, I didn't uh, order this separately. So this particular one comes with uh, 200 sheets of paper and three of the special sponges. Um, I'm not sure what the, the one comes with uh, if you order it direct from the site. So the magnets all seem to be uh, connected <laughs> and not ro uh, rolling away. I have uh, read reports of people losing them under the fridge and things like that when they opened it up. Um, there's the uh, elastic band that goes around the case as well just to get for a bit of extra security. So the magnets aren't particularly strong but I mean they don't really need to be you know it holds it but don't pick it up. If, <laughs> um, it's just a, a convenience I, sp I suppose it's not really uh, super important. I usually use a well palette anyway separately. Uh, I wasn't particularly bothered, but uh, if it does matter to you, then the magnets aren't super strong. Um, it is quite tight to open, uh, which is good for the prospect of it being watertight, although it does mean that it's going to be awkward to open every time if you want to do some painting. Uh, I usually use a Masterson's wet palette, and that pops open really easily because it's got a little uh, two tabs at the top that you just push and it opens up so um, although there's some little dints in the end both ends of this for grabbing open it's not uh, super easy to get a hold of so inside you can see it's just a normal plastic tray with the texture on uh, I assume the texture is to stop the sponge slipping when it's in there so here I'm just going to do a quick water test to see if any of the water leaks out make sure the lid's good and firmly placed on, pushing it in the center as well. Uh, so if there's any air in there, it just pushes it out a bit and creates a slight vacuum. So it doesn't look like there's any uh, water escaping. Uh, so, so far I haven't encountered any of the, uh, the issues that other people have had, but obviously uh, there's going to be a certain amount of uh, failure in any manufacturing process. So just because I didn't have any problems doesn't mean to say you won't. <laughs> and don't worry on the, the mat there, if you see something shiny, that's dried glue, that wasn't water. So here are the uh, three sponges that came with it. They're supposed to be uh, mold resistant sponges, so I'm not sure how mu uh, much uh, use there's going to be for three of them. I suppose if you get paint on them and dirty them up, you might need to swap them over. But and the sponge is, is quite soft um, and dense as well. There's no obvious holes or anything in it. So the first thing that you probably notice is there's a big gap all the way around. And uh, this is something else I noticed on uh, other people's reports of the, the wet palette. Uh, I've only seen it on the orange one so far, so I was curious to see for the, the XL version uh, how big a gap there would be. And it is just 
as big a gap. It's quite disappointing, really. Um, I did wonder if the sponge would grow when you added water to it, but the sponge is already slightly damp, uh, and there's a good reason for that. It's so the sponge isn't dried out and doesn't break in transport. Um, so here I've got some parchment paper or baking paper uh, that most people use for a wet palette, and, this, and I'm comparing it to the paper that came with the Everlasting wet palette. Uh, it's very, very similar, uh, but it's smoother. It, uh, the texture is uh, much finer, so hopefully that will have some effect on the paint that you put on it. So there you can see as well, um, it wouldn't make much difference if the sponge uh, grew because uh, the paper is the same size as the sponge. So here I am just going to pour some water over it to see uh, if it makes any difference. I can pretty much guarantee it won't, but um, just see how it all works anyway. So obviously you can see as the uh, sponge soaks up the water, it changes colour. So that's a good indicator. You don't really want any of these white spots on. It's a good idea to, to uh, push them all out, make sure the water gets all the way around it. Because if you put the paper on top and there's white spots in it, those will dry out quicker. I've obviously put too much water in there, so I'm going to have to uh, take that away and pour some of it out again. So here I am back, and I've poured out the excess water, so you can see the top of the sponge is now damp but not floating. And we're just going to put the, the paper on top and try and get it roughly in line with all the edge of the sponge. So one thing here that's uh, particularly good, um, which is a big improvement over the uh, Masterson's wet palette that I use, is that the paper lies very, very flat. Um, on other wet palettes, when I use them uh, with uh, baking paper, uh, you get you tend to get big creases in, and that doesn't seem to be the case at all. This one, as you can see, it's really nice and smooth, so you won't get dry patches or anything because as soon as you get a, a crease, uh, obviously that's not touching the sponge, so the, the dampness isn't there, and uh, you run into all sorts of problems of paint drying out. So, just to give you an example, on the right here, I've got my Masterson's work palette. Uh, and this is the other thing that I particularly like as well. Apart, from, you can see there the the creases in the paper that cause issues. But the the other thing that I like is that the um, the sponge is light. So it, uh, whereas on the Masterson's one it's yellow, and the yellow kind of interferes with the colours that you put down. Whereas the, well, it's it's light grey basically. Um, so it means you get a much more neutral base for putting your colours on, and they don't look wrong. Uh, it's much easier to uh, identify the colours. So uh, that's it for the quick test of the Everlasting Wet Palette. Uh, and I'm going to be giving it a proper test uh, now with some paint and I'll get back to you in the future to see how that works out. Especially to see if uh, the paint actually lasts on it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.